Consistency, Stim Pack, and Healing Orbs, guys. Gain four components after you lose 50 player health. <laughs> Very good. We are once again on set 10. You can play it on PvE, guys, as always. And um, yeah, if you want to see more of the new infos, I have a good video in the comment section linked onto on my other channel. So a very lengthy video on this channel, I already have gameplays. Um, healing orbs, consistency, Pandora's items. I'll just take Pandora's items, we have a Kasante headliner. Alright guys, so this will be a little bit confusing if you have not played yet, but I will try to explain everything I can. I'm just playing a Sentinel frontline, I should have bought the Kasante. A little bit of a boomer here. Nah, actually, I kind of don't want to... Nah, I don't want him. Um, I have a crown guard, which is definitely not something I want. I'll probably... I want to play Ezreal. Okay, let's try to play Ezreal. So, let's get everything... Let's get into it. So, we are on gold per augment. There's still portals. Uh, every time you select an augment, gain three golds per augment you have. So, it's kind of like ecliptic vaults from set 9, but not as extreme, right? Here. Not as extreme. Because it's instead of four, it used to be four per augment you have. Lilia. Deal magic damage to adjacent enemies. Heal Lilia for 180 and her nearest ally. Headliner effect plus 100 health and she heals more. I mean, honestly, I have to buy something. I have to buy a, I have to buy a headliner, otherwise I have just a huge disadvantage. Did my thing just not work? Did my thing just not reroll anything? I'm sure it worked, right? It did? Okay. Okay, so let me just think about this. So we are playing the Lilia, as you see. She can heal and stuff. So headliners. What are headliners? As you saw there, every shop, as long as you don't have a headliner, every shop has one. Uh, it's basically an instant two-star unit that also has some bonus. So she heals a little bit more. Um, gets some bonus stats. But not only that, it also has this. You can see my KDA trait is lighting up. I'm only playing one KDA unit, which is that Lilia. And why do I have 2 KDA? Because she gives us 2 KDA. That's what she does. Because she's the KDA headliner here. Okay? She could have also been a Sentinel headliner. That is full random. She could have been a Sentinel headliner. She would give us 2 Sentinel. She could have been a super fan headliner. She would give us 2 super fan. What do I want to play here? I don't know why I'm playing this. I don't know, man. So we're pretty weak early game. As you can see, this guy got a headliner Tom Kench. Then he found another two-star Tom Kench. And another Tom Kench on his bench. Well, he didn't find another two-star Tom Kench. You can't find non-headliner two-stars in your shop. Just saying that so no one gets confused. Um, he just found three more. He just found four more Tom Kenches. Also, he has country very early, which is cool. When the enemies drop low enough, or he, he drops low enough, like his team drops low enough, Hecarim gets summoned. Very cool. So what are we doing here? We're just going for a lost streak. We have a lot of money. We can just go for a stage, maybe even 3-2 for level 7. And go for a very early level 8. Pick up this Mordekaiser. I believe he's a Sentinel. He could be a Guardian. I think he's the weird looking one. Bottom left there, the blue. Right next to the Blitzcrank. The Blitzcrank is the pink one. I think he's a Sentinel. So this is pretty good. We get a Sentinel here. He is a Sentinel. So I have four Sentinel. Sure, man. Sure. Four Sentinel, bro. No damage, sure. Maybe Lilia can pop off. We are not gonna play for any reroll builds because I am on a time schedule. Reroll builds are very uh, risky and it is currently 4 a.m. And yeah, I, I wanna sleep. So I gotta get these three videos fast. So we're gonna play for Temple because that's how you can obliterate these uh, the PvE players very easily, right? Because everyone is trying out some... some uh, Everyone's trying out some reroll comp and stuff, and if they don't hit their three stars, they're very weak. You just go level eight, you you flood your board with four costs and five costs, and you're chilling. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna try to play Ezreal. 
So let me just try to make my Ezreal comp. He is a big sh no. What is he? A big shot, right? Yes, he is a big shot. So we will combine it with Jazz. Jazz is a very cool trait. It's gonna be the most played trait of everybody, probably. In this set, there's our there's our Jazzy boy already. We can level here. Not bad. It's so cool how it adds the the freaking the 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 saxophone. It adds the saxophone even if I don't have jazz. I just add this guy. It adds the saxophone. It's pretty cool, man. I could have played Kaisa for KDA, but I want to make 50 guys. I'm trying to lost streak. I want to make 50. I don't care about winning this round. I'm actually trying to lose it. So I want. I don't want to be strong. Uh, we're, and we want to make 50 gold, right? And I want I want the Bard. Bard is going to be on my final board. He's a Jazz unit. She's a Big Shot and Jazz. So she's going to enable Big Shot on our Ezreal. And Big Shots gain attack damage every time they cast. Or they gain attack damage and every time they cast for 3 seconds, they get even more. Oh. Now we have a Headliner Kai'Sa. So we can pivot here. There we go. Very good. But, as you can see, she's not a KDA headliner, she's a Big Shot headliner, so she's giving herself instantly to Big Shot. So we didn't get KDA here. She could have been a KDA headliner. My god, what the frick is this, guys? How am I gonna play this game with a single hand, guys? What is Riot Games doing, brother man? Hello? I'm gonna save the crit. I'm going for Infinity Edge. I'm going for a blue buff. Oh, wait, that, that was not the blue buff. I mean, Dragon Claw, why not? Nah, I'm, I'm going for the items first on the Ezreal. I want blue buff. He has a very low mana cost, so blue buff should be good. Blue buff got reworked. It's very good for AD as well now. Uh, we don't have Jazz yet, we have Sentinel active, we have Big Shot active, and this thing is just Dazzler. Do we have a KDA unit? We do not have a KDA unit in the shop. Do we have a Mosher? Do we have Dazzler? Dazzler. There we go. We can play Dazzler next turn. Cannot play it yet. Guardian as well. This guy's Guardian. Okay, cool. Let's see, what else do we want? We just want some good tank line. I think this guy is the best tank in the game. Because he's basically Jarv and he has a big AoE ult. And this guy is just great. This guy is great as well. Like, whatever I two-star, right? Whatever I two-star. We want Headliner Ezreal. I don't actually know what his Headliner ability is. But we'll check. Some of them have just... Some of the Headliners, every unit can be a Headliner. And some of the units have very boring stuff, like just more AP. And some units have something cool, right? Like this girl, you can see her dash and then shoot her missile. Um, and here she basically gets a longer dash. She dashes further. <laughs> Reach the summit again. I'm not gonna take it because I took it last game. Like game specialist, I like this because I think I want to cap out on level nine. Vampirism is also good. I already lost a lot of health. Miss connections. I'll take vampirism. Get some omni vamp for free, and I. The more the more I lose, the more omni vamp I get. Infinity Edge, blue buff, blue buff here, level here, frick it, turbo rich, I can just level and sit, oh there's a KDA, guess we take out Dazzler, seems fine, I want blue buff Infinity Edge, blue buff Infinity Edge last whisper, Seems like it would do a lot of damage on Ezreal, hopefully. And then we just go four big shot. I wanna try to go four big shot, right? I think I want this, then I want the bruiser, other bruiser. I want four big shot for sure. Isn't he disco though? He's disco. Who else is guardian? Who else is a good four cost guardian? It's not him. There's no four cost guardian. I would have to high roll, high roll Yorick maybe. Okay, cool, 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 cool. 
Very good. So Ezreal has his Mystic Shot. Oh, that's huge, guys. We high roll a really good KDA unit here. He's a Guardian. I could reduce two Sentinels. But Sentinels are pretty good. Your team gains armor and magic resistance. Sentinels gain double. I think four Sentinels is pretty good. You want everyone to stand on this. What is her range? One Hex? She can just walk around. So this KDA, these KDA spotlights, they change every game. This is very awkward, in my opinion. I think everyone has the same one, though. Everyone has the same spotlights. But uh, this is very awkward positioning, in my opinion. I'm just saying. I'm not complaining, just saying. So there's, there's definitely games where you want to play it, and games where you might not want to play it. Alright, and KDA, basically, just everyone that's standing on this spot gains 10% max health and 10 uh, ability power and attack damage. And the KDA units gain double the amount. And then um, Big Shot is just attack damage, like I said, Sentinel you already saw. Breakout is just Akali's trait. Akali is a 4 cost that can warp. She can transform. She can be um, a KDA unit, or she can be a true damage unit, because her she's in both skin lines in League of Legends, right? So basically, uh, right now, because I have more KDA active, she is a KDA unit. And then she has different abilities. Uh, KDA, she's more of an assassin. She throws a shuriken, she jumps into the backline and stuff. But we don't really care about that. We don't really care about her. I want to play two bruiser here. So I want to ditch the trash guardians here. Sword. Uh, someone is asking if she's trash. She looks kind of bad because she's blue buff as well, so She's not doing that much damage here. I'll keep it a stack Rapid fire rapid fire Girl don't think we care about that Okay, I want I want an infinity edge because he's gonna generate a lot of attack damage, so I want four quick shots or a big shot I'll just have to high roll him because I can't play some trash big shots. Oh, but I get I get four big shot because I go chosen big shot, right? Or not chosen, uh, headliner big shot. This guy is so freaking strong. Okay, I need to play country. This looks strong as fr he's, he's just full win streaking. Big shot. Who else is big shot? Nobody. Corky. Corky seems kind of bad here. One cost. Don't think I want to play him. Buy this. I have this girl. Went 5 country, went second to a level 10 player. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, maybe I'll try country. Seems insane. Okay, let me just sell some units here. I mean, we need to pivot soon, right? I'm trying to go fast 8. Remember, guys, they lowered the XP cost for leveling a lot. And now, level 10 is your max level for everybody. Not just when you have level up augment or anything. Everyone can reach level 10 and you... Um, it's much cheaper. Level 10 is still very cheap. But level 8 is very... Yeah. Level 8 is super easy to get now. So, like you, see, you can see... I mean, I did have an economy start this game, right? So just keep that in mind. Crowd Diver EDM. She's a Crowd Diver as well, right? No, she's not. I don't want Death Blade. I want Infinity Edge. Because he's going to get a lot of attack damage. I'm selling her, so the next shop has a headliner in it. That's why I'm selling her. Ah, oh, my crit re-rolled. Freak, man.
Okay, I don't know what to do, guys, right? But it's first day, like my second game. Um, I don't want double blue buff, that's for sure. I can easily go for a Bramble on somebody, probably just on him. Everyone's playing reroll. They always win against me early game, but then I just smurf late game. Or at least last game went like this. Hopefully this can happen here. I didn't find a single Ezreal. I need a he Ezreal headliner, let's be real. We need to get saved by a Ezreal headliner. So we just need to roll to zero here. I need a good augment here, hopefully combat augment, so I can come back into the game. Let's see. Cyber bulk is not that bad. What the forge is so fun, frick it. What the forge with Pandora's items so I can reroll them. Nah, it's not even that good though. It's not even that good. Alright, frick it. It's too fun, guys. Frick it. Death fire grass. Okay, I just high rolled so hard. No. <laughs> also, I have hard steel, so I can get some hard steel cash out. Oh, but he's hard steel. He's not big shot. I guess we just play two big shot then. It's fine. And he uses his ult, which is very cool. Every third cast is an ult. So mana zane is insane. <laughs> I just high rolled so hard. Four, three. Oh man, peace out guys, GG, V1. Any good damage item, Loki this is not even bad, right? I don't know what the frick this guy does, I have no clue, he's like, I didn't even read him yet. What did I lose? I lost Breakout only, right? I don't really care about Breakout, do you think I can go level 9 already? Do you think I could go level 9 here? I'm gonna cash out. I'm gonna cash out hard steel. This is not good enough. Like, what is better, though? There's no attack damage item. This is good enough. Like, just rapid fire would be better. Eh, not rapid fire. Um, sniper. Another sniper's focus would be better. Bro, this Ezreal is already my favorite unit. He's just teleporting all across the board. Crash the party. Uh, blink away from the current target and deal 600 physical damage to them. Every third cast deals 800 physical damage to all enemies in the line. So he shoots his mystic shot twice and then true shot barrage. I pick up this Yorick, that's huge. Because Yorick is guardian. And we want Thresh anyway. So we go level 9 now. So he's actually really good with Sniper's Focus because he teleports away from his current target. Which is very good, right? For Sniper's Focus. The further they are away, the more damage he deals. And Mana Zane is insane. I just have 2 Bilgewater. And eh, not Bilgewater, Big Shot. And then I have 3 Heart Steel. Heart Steel is the most complicated trick. But I'll try to explain. I definitely want to keep it for now because I'll, I'll cash it out soon. Cash it out very soon. How many hearts do I have? Where do I see my hearts? Oh, here. 15, okay. Very good, Mosher. We get Mosher on both of them. I gave him the items because he's very tanky. He's a very tanky guy. Bruiser, she's also Bruiser. She creates these tentacles that just hit enemies and when she ults, she revives them and they like hit in tandem like you'll see. She's actually a pretty cool unit. See, when she slaps down, the tentacles slap down, and now she ults, she's gonna revive, and bump. And she's gonna tap down a million times. Cool. I dropped the gold because of ba Bard. Sometimes Bard drops gold. Very rarely, though. It's the first time it happened in three games now. I play Bard every game. Mm, I didn't play him in the first game. And then, what else do we have? Heart Steel. Let's try to explain Heart Steel, right? I'm gonna just give him to this, because the belt is really good on him. Uh, for these items, right? I high-rolled my items so hard, guys. Usually, like, what the forge is just full random. 
You just get full random uh, Orn items. And I got really lucky. Uh, so, Hard Steel. Hard Steel is basically pilt over underground. Yeah. Like the economy trait. Earn hearts by killing enemies. Gain even more by losing player combat. Every four player combats, convert hearts into powerful rewards, okay? And at three, you gain one heart for killing enemies. At five, you gain three hearts for killing enemies, seven, 7.5 hearts. And then at nine heart, nine uh, heart steal, you gain 12 hearts per kill. And when you lose, you get some bonus hearts, right? And um, you, so basically this is economy, but the rewards scale with the later the game is. So now, I didn't get a single loss, so I'm not gonna get crazy rewards here, right? I'm gonna get something, bo some nice bonus, right? Yeah, I got only a little bit of gold. Nothing crazy, because I didn't lose streak. And that's fine, I got five gold juiced up. Fine, because I I got a little bit unlucky. I got the, instead of the big shot Ezreal, I got the hard steal Ezreal. Just a 50-50% chance when the headliner Ezreal shows up. But it's completely fine. Because, um, you know, I'm just farming some money and I'm still strong enough. I'm playing uh, only three, uh, two big shots. Seems to be working still. This is, this is, doesn't matter, I'm just gonna roll into other items anyway. We roll them into other items. Another sniper's focus and I have a remover. Now that's freaking, that's freaking dirty, guys. I think I stack Yorick. Last game Yorick was very impressive. He was doing a lot of damage. He was a very, a very good bruiser. So I'm gonna stack Yorick here. Thresh is basically Jarvan. He just ults the enemies, stuns them, and you're happy. You don't care after that what he does. I have a problem. We don't have armor pen. This guy is so tanky, this cannon. I think I can still win though. Dash away. Ah, I got zapped, bro. I got zappy. Okay, we do get a loss. We do get a loss. Oh my god, I got infinite stacks there. I went from 16 to 49, so I got a lot of stacks for a loss. That's freaking huge, guys. Okay, we definitely roll on 9. I'm not going level. Like, I need to upgrade my board here, otherwise, I'll die. I could sell the Ezreal now. I can only buy another headliner if I sell my current headliner and then I would get a headliner puppy and I already have a puppy. So I would have six puppies. I would almost have a three star puppy already. And I'm even thinking about it. I think after the next cash out, we try to get a new headliner, a five cost headliner because the Ezreal is gonna be strong without his headliner. Because his headliner right now is just giving me the econ trait, which doesn't improve my board, it's just giving me rewards. So after the next cash out, I'll, I'll pivot out of it, because I'm, I'm dropping too low. And his headliner effect is plus 15% attack damage, which is certainly helping, but it is not something groundbreaking, is it? It's definitely not something groundbreaking. I'm not gonna buy her right now, though, because like, we, we don't have... You have two snipers focused, dot, dot, dot. Brother. I, I, whatever, man. I have a freaking useless cane on my board that I don't even know what it does, but it's just magic damage and stuff when he doesn't have any items, so that doesn't seem good. And it, he's giving me heart steal, which is useless, right? After this cash out. But this cash out is gonna be nice. This cash out is gonna be great. And then maybe we can just high roll Ezreal again. We can just go for a 2-star Ezreal as well. Like, 2-star Ezreal is not going to make a big diff. 15% attack damage. Okay, so we need this cash out. So how many more? Player combat until rewards. So two. So after this one, one more. And then we will get our rewards. So the cool thing about this cash out trait is it's not about losing, 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 and then cashing out with one win. It's just four, four combats. You cash out, no matter what happens. 
That's really cool. Because that makes it splashable late game. You lose like one, you win three, you get some nice rewards, you sell it again. You get you you get rid of it. I have I have four poppies. If I get a headliner poppy, I have six I have seven. Read uh, his wildcard effect. His wildcard effect is if you win player combats, he changes. If you win or lose, he changes. Depends on if you win or lose. Also, I'm not getting freaking thing on her. It is the end. I'm gonna roll a little bit. Nice, that's what I wanted. Okay, I'm one off Poppy if I get a headliner Poppy. I'm one off Poppy 3. That's actually disgusting, right? Ha! <laughs> Does anyone have Poppy? No one's playing Poppy, right? It's a new set, guys. It's hard to tell everything apart. I just go fully itemized Poppy with headliner effect. What's her headliner effect? Oh, it doesn't say until you find it. That's weird. It's a little bit annoying. Nice, I'm finally focusing the Yasuo. Oh, frick. The Yasuo is so strong as a 3-star. Nah, that's actually ridiculous. Look how tanky he is. Okay, we need something. We need something here. We're dying. But everyone's losing to him, huh? Hopefully this guy dies. I'm top 3. Not yet. Unfortunate. He was fighting a ghost. Zack. I go headliner Zack. Oh! I just got a trade thingy. I'm just going Jazz because I don't know what the rest does. Jazz is good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot next turn. I hope I don't die here. He has a two-star cane. I think I should roll. This is fate headliner. I don't think I need this. I have a new Ezreal. I hope I don't die here. If I don't die here, I can go for a Giga roll down for a three-star. And go for a Giga roll down for a 3 star. Hopefully we just don't die here. We have 3 Jazz which gives us a lot of trade. Uh, because we have a lot of trades. The more trades you have the more bonuses it gives you. Attack damage. Um, or just damage. Straight up damage. I'm gonna sell her to make 40. Okay so I'm pretty sure I should already roll down now. I should already roll now. Because I'm, I'm a boomer. If I get a thing now... Oh, Jazz Rapid Fire. I, I don't think I have good items for him, though. Oh, this guy's broken. I'll buy this guy for now. Poppy. That's a three-star Poppy, no? Mosher, so we want four Mosher. <laughs> what the frick is this? 6k health. Headliner effect plus 150 health and 10% attack damage. So it's not that cool, right? Or it's not that good. Or it's not, yeah, it's not that cool. I mean, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's good, bro. Okay, I want one more Mosher, right? I want another Mosher. I don't know if I want him. Am I playing a Sentinel? Am I playing a Sentinel? I'm not. I want to kick this for a Mosher. Oh no, I missed the Mosher, man. I missed the Mosher for free. Stupid. 
I don't think the Yasuo can beat this Poppy. That would be really busted. It's a one cost, guys. It's a one cost. That would be beyond broken. He's not gonna... He's not... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Poppy is just smashing it. Yeah. So what does Mosher do? A Mosher... Mosher's gain attack speed and Omni Vamp, which increases up to 100% based on their missing health. So the lower they drop, the more of these stats they get. At 4, I will be getting 30% attack speed at 100% health, right? Uh, up to 60% when they're almost dead, right? And 15% Omni Vamp. So we're trying to get that. There he is. Alright, very good. And we win the game, right? Perfect. Three-star Puppy. Full tank. Uh, we lost some traits, though, for our Jazz. We only have one, two, three, four, five traits now for Jazz. So we're getting 15% uh, bonus health on our team, on everyone. And we're dealing 10% bonus damage on our whole team. Yasuo seems really strong, huh? I'll try it. Yasuo is very cool. It's a one cost, but it has a very cool passive. Yasuo permanently gains 1.5 attack damage for each kill he gets. For each kill, he gets 1.5 attack damage. Which is very, very cool, right? So you 3-star him and you're chilling. I'm just gonna take whatever. It, it gets transformed into a, into a thingy item, right? Yeah, super free to 3-star. I mean, it was uncontested. I had a lot of money. It's PvE, guys, so don't worry. This Defiance is freaking insane, bro. I don't have a remover, though, unfortunately. I think I'll just go Death's Defiance on her. Seems like the best holder for it. As you can see, it's kind of hard to 2-star... I think he's dead, unfortunately. I think he's dead, guys. If he's not dead, I'm gonna pivot. But I think he's dead. 17 health. He also is dead. I have too many units alive. I should have benched something so he doesn't die yet. Yeah. We would have had a 3-star Ezreal as well. That would have been fun, right? And it was a big shot. Did you see that? It would have been a big shot as well. Not bad, guys. We'll take it. As always, check the comment section for uh, the rundown video on the other channel. Check the channel for more uh, TFT set 10 content. We'll be spamming it all the time. And I will always try to explain as much as I can, right? Uh, subscribe to the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithm comment and an algorithm like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.